going on everybody this is obb the diecast news guy bringing you guys with another next gen diecast review and today it's gonna be on the diecast that ironically it's on the next gen test car wave that you can get at walmart and targets but this is a special limited edition wave that uh like i said is gonna be in uh limited runs so get it while you can but it should be available at your walmarts right now and if you guys saw my newest what's in stores video then you guys are in some good luck because i did find a majority of these cars and this is the one I think a lot of people are waiting for me to do a diecast review on because we have not seen a diecast like this before, guys. Um, that let me just say this is the first next gen diecast I'll be reviewing that has set that has uh, a 2021 paint scheme and the number in the middle. Today it is on Ricky Stenhouse Jr.'s his first ever diecast with JT Daughtry Racing produced in the 164 scale. Um, this is his uh, 2021 next gen car, but um, you know. I, mean, I, it, it, I guess it is supposed to be 2022, but I'm going to say 2021 because, like I said, he <laughs> this is the test car that he ran in the fall time for the next gen test. And let me just tell you what, man, this is just a, uh, a beautiful die cast, and I cannot believe that this is a first that we got for this guy. Because um, usually his die casts have been offered, but they usually get canceled. But I'm so this was such a big surprise that we got from NASCAR Authentics, guys. But you can also get this in wave two of NASCAR Authentics as we take a close look right here. Um, we do got ourselves a new packaging for uh, this this next gen test wave i guess this is the first wave i don't know this is like the bonus wave that lionel was talking about but you see right there it's nothing too crazy it's all mostly black and just says next gen test car next gen next gen and the only difference with these cards is that uh, this is the chevrolet manufacturer but the other ones have different other manufacturers even though we only have one ford and i think what um actually two fords and one toyota in that wave but um i, I don't it's a good variety for the trading card at least it's not a sticker on the back there you see there's the uh you know the chevy ford and the toyota oh gee whiz i can only imagine what we're reviewing hopefully it's a ford <laughs> just kidding guys but we're going to unbox bad boy and let's take a close look at the ricky stenhouse jr 2021 next gen kroger test car and already, guys, we got this diecast out of box and where they started. Let's look at the little trading card that comes with this. Not gonna go really too crazy on this, but see, we got a nice little, uh, you know, um, I guess you say a 3D printed of the, the, um, of the the uh, outlines of the designs and the different dimensions of the uh next gen car this is for the chevrolet but like i said you know it's really different and we got a little bit of a oh, misprint or i don't know some sort of residue right there on the trading card hey you know it's five dollar card so probably get five dollar quality and if you guys want to read a book here you have some lines right here about the next gen car you know how they started at daytona back in september and in october they ran the uh, roval race and fun fact, I was at the uh, Next Gen uh, testing back in January, which was really cool. I did saw a different version of this uh, Stenhouse car. So this is based off the car that he, uh, you know, uh, that they announced uh, on their Twitter back in like September. And everyone was going nuts. But like, oh my God, this car has the, the, the numbers moving forward. But it, little do we know, it's just a test car. And yeah, this is basically his 2021 Kroger paint scheme, his primary paint scheme, which I think looks so much better than this year's. Uh, don't even, I, We'll talk more about his Kroger Next Gen cars in a second. Um, not going to really say about you know the number placement but i'm talking about that hood sponsor but this is really cool guys this is basically um like i just said his primary uh kroger car more specifically the car that he drove at the uh, 2021 daytona 500 with the nas sponsorship the only difference is of course you know it's a next gen car so yeah you see the different dimensions on that um but i think the only difference i noticed is that um and this one actually uh yeah, it has a black corner panel, but I think on the uh, the NAS uh, on the uh, Daytona 500 car, and the orange is for NAS, if you guys were wondering, because I was wondering what that orange was, but aren't you glad I said that? Anyways, <laughs> uh, enough with that stupid pun. My God, I'm still making puns, and it's 2022. Good Lord, never change your big forehead. But, um, but yeah, that's the only difference right there, but we do got ourselves a pretty noticeable paint bubble, so $5 quality as finest. But this is really cool, guys. I mean, I do like the dimensions on this. I mean, I have already reviewed one of the Chevrolets so far, and that was the Alex Moman uh, Ally car that you can get in the Gold Series. Um, which, by the way, um, if you guys are looking forward for another Chevrolet diecast review, I will be reviewing a few more. Um, I even got, uh, what we got, we, even Kyle Larson's uh, HenryCars.com uh, Next Gen car is now available at Circle B Diecast. Make sure to use that promo code OBYT so you guys save some money and get $5 off because these diecasts are a dollar more now, so they're $10. So, <laughs> um, but my God, guys, this is actually a really cool looking paint scheme, guys. For a test car, um, you could probably pretty much mistake this as a primary scheme, guys. Especially a lot of custom makers. I know a lot of people are going to have a ball for this. But, dude, I can't believe we got ourselves a Ricky Stenhouse Jr. JT Daughtry diecast, guys. I mean, it has been quite a while, guys. I mean, as you guys know, we did got Ryan Priest's uh, Velveeta throwback last year, which was really cool. But other than that, guys, um, besides, um, I think uh, the, 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 we've only had the JT Daughtry cars released... Uh, 
like a few times in NASCAR Authentics. We had, you know, Chris Busher's uh, Bush's best car from way 12 of 2018. Yeah, we don't want to talk about that car because PTC mold. And But the last time we ever got a 47 die cast um, was, um, we've had 47 die cast at least for quite a while, uh, especially with the Spin Master days, like the Bobby Levante 2013 car and the AJ Allmendinger Watkins Glen winner. But the last time, if I remember, was the 2018 uh, car, which I will be doing side-by-side -side comparison this car in a second, just to show you guys how different these cars are. But, um, of course, the main difference of why these cars are a lot more cheaper is because, you know, we don't have any window banners. And I don't even see if there's even a, no railing detail. You know, there's like window rails right here. There's nothing right here. So it looks pretty basic. Um, quite of a basic bitch car, if I say so myself. <laughs> but there's no, um, yeah, yeah, no not detail right there. No window banners. White interior and even the bottoms are white, um, which is odd because... Um, it's kind of weird because in the Wave 2, uh, this car is available in, in, in the official Wave 2, but it has the black uh, chassis um, with the exception of the Austin Dillon test car. Um, so I don't know. I just find that kind of weird, but I don't know if they could be going forward with that. I mean, I don't mind it. It is a cheaper route, but if you guys want the black and tears, then get the gold series, I guess. But you see, we got the Kroger logos right there, which looks really cool. Um, now, let me just say, the Kroger logo looks perfect on here. For some odd reason, on the 2022 scheme, they decided to put the Kroger logo, logo down here. Now, I don't know why. I think it probably has something to do with, like, the, with that. I don't know. I thought, like, because of these uh, little uh, um, um, inlets right here for the hood, I thought that would, like, cause, like, a warping effect, I guess. Maybe that's why they didn't do it. But, dude, look. This looks so much better. And, plus, when you're doing an in-car camera, I mean, look, you can clearly see the sponsor right there. I don't even want to know what the in-car camera looks like on the 2022 car because you can barely see it. It probably looks like an unsponsored car. I don't know who is the dipshit that decided, hey, that's a genius idea because, yeah, yeah the, the only way you're going to see that is probably when you see those uh, the, the, those uh, rear view cameras, which I don't know if NBC has those. I know Fox did, and we saw how bad their coverage was. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, um, I really do like the Chevrolet Camaro molds. It looks really nice. It looks, uh, you know, pretty, you know, uh, it's not as different as the Ford Mustangs or the Toyota Camrys. Um, but, you know, the Chevrolets and the Toyotas are pretty much looking the same. But, of course, you know, this is the uh, next-gen car, so it does look pretty different. But it's a nice-looking paint scheme, I, I will say that. It's a lot better looking than uh, <laughs> the car we have now. And you can definitely tell this is a 2021 car because this is not the base paint scheme that they have. And even, uh, you know, with the number moving uh, forward. And they even changed the, the the font as well, the color and the fonts. Like, the 47 is, like, uh, move forward. And it's, like, what, like, italicized or something like that? So, like, I mean, I can't even pronounce any English. But, um yeah, I don't know. I I think the JT Dodge Street cars have got worse throughout the years. I think this year's has been the, my least favorite. Um, except for the Reese's car that Ricky Stout Jr. drove this year at the Coke 600. I thought that was a beautiful paint scheme. But, um, yeah, the other ones have been quite horrific. But we got a tiny 47, a tiny JT Dodge Street logo. Um, see the splitter right there? It's got a nice curvature to it. It's very round. Can't stress enough how round these next-gen diecast are. But you see the next-gen wheels look pretty nice. I mean, uh, pretty decent quality we got right there. But you see all the little uh, goodies underneath. These ox pipe. Of course, you know the... Uh, side skirts are all black on all the next gen cars but you still get this guys we even got you know stenhouse jr's name right here which is cool because you know jg daughtry only went to one car <laughs> um starting in 2021 um and of course in 2022 you get the kroger sponsor that's literally squished up right there um and we got some side sponsors right here on the b post which is pretty cool i didn't think we were gonna do that no roof sponsor but we got a nice good old 47 and a white paint chip so nice job on the quality line now um but yeah, just uh, kind of random right here on the back. But um, yeah, like I said, the orange is supposed to represent. I thought it was supposed to represent Reese's, but I looked at his car from uh, from last year's A2500. It's for Nas, so I don't know. <laughs> this technically is an energy drink car, if you guys really want to count that. On the back, we got nothing, just like, you know, what the sponsor, uh, just like what the 2022 hoods are. <laughs> but you see the white rear diffuser, which, you know, I'm not really, uh, you know, it does look pretty generic, I will say, with the white uh, with the white diffuser. But you know what, man? You know, I could live without it. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. ZL1 logo is a little crooked, and I don't see a 1LE logo, but can't complain. It's just a test car. That Chevrolet logo is really, really touching the, literally, the the, the end of the ass of that spoiler. But see, the spoiler even has those little rivets. I like that that line out out of that. And then we got all these sponsors right here, but it looks like there is a sponsor that's missing. Hmm, I wonder, if you look on the top right corner, maybe there could have been an energy drink sponsor, probably, possibly. But look at that, we got all those wonderful sponsors. And comment below if you guys can actually see those sponsors and more importantly which sponsors do you use um i'm looking at reese's i'm like oh i should probably go get a reese's after this review um because definitely is um definitely uh quite of a i don't know it, it feels like a chocolate night let's just say that chocolate and peanut butter night <laughs> but dude this is so cool man i really like uh this kroger scheme uh just for a test car man it looks really cool and safe to say ricky stout jr actually didn't reckon this car at the at uh the next gen uh daytona test but now time to do the side-by-side -side comparisons of this car as we're gonna get on to uh you know the ending of this video um but you see right here i pointed out i'm an alex bowman car you know the splitters definitely do stick out a lot more than the 2018 car um 
but you know the gen 6 car uh of course this is the old zeo this is the old uh, camaro zeo one before they went to the 1le version um with the rounded nose back when you know the chevrolets kind of sucked during that time look at pointy it is but just see let's see i don't know it, it seems like i don't know i i kind of miss the old kroger logo I, I don't know i just miss that blue circle it just looks a lot better um especially when they had that partnership with Clicklist. i guess that was like the app or like delivery service that they had to pick up your groceries um uh, but now it's called kroger delivery or something like that i don't know we do have kroger delivery in our area but just i don't know it doesn't feel the same i feel like you should just go to a kroger and just experience that but i eh, can't have that because you know Publix. you know is <laughs> florida's a you know uh grocery store but um, anyways getting soft top about that guys here's the uh, side side dimensions of this car you know it is definitely different i will say that and going on right here guys you can definitely see you know how taller and you know curvier uh the rear ends of this i didn't really do this kind of comparison before but you can definitely see it right there look how curved that spoiler is just oh freaking beautiful the rear diffuser and all those other good stuff and just look how round those uh those uh wheel welds are oh my god look at that just like boop <laughs> But my God, guys, definitely a diecast. I would re recommend picking up since it is a NASCAR Authentics exclusive. I, you know, don't know if I mentioned that before, but yeah, you can get this in the uh, the test car wave, wave one of the test car wave, or on the wave two NASCAR Authentics wave, which should be coming out very soon for 2022. Um, I think it's at the Lionel Racing Retail Store, but I don't think this uh, particular car is uh, with the next gen car. I do find it kind of weird that, you know, they kind of re-released some of the cars from the next-gen test car wave and did it for Wave 2. Um, I feel like they could have done some variety or not even do, not even put out next-gen diecast in Wave 2. But whatever, though, I mean, I can't complain because next-gen diecasts are definitely on a high demand. And for $5, definitely a steal, and it's a big F you to all the scalpers that are, selling, that are selling these things for $40. I kid you not, they are selling them for $40 each crazy times we live in folks before we comment below if you guys have anything else to share as this is going to wrap up the diecast review of ricky snell's juniors 2021 kroger uh gt dodger racing chevrolet camaro zl1 1le for the next gen test car uh comment like subscribe and this has been obb i'll see you guys next time on another next gen diecast review